it's finally happening. We're getting our first little bits of news for season three of the L Word Generation Q. And last night, did we get the answer to whether Carrie is returning for season three? I think so. Because Rosie O'Donnell was on TikTok last night doing a live and she did briefly talk about the L Word Generation Q and she said that she's in season three. Now, of course, she's not going to talk too much about the show because it, they're not going to spoil everything. And, you know, last year they were very hush hush about season two. So I would imagine that carries over to this season. And Rosie said that she is going to be in season three. And she also had some choice words for <laughs> Bet and Tina fans saying, if that's what you're here for, you're going to be disappointed. But she did also say that last season and look how the season ended. She did also say why would Tina want to be with a narcissist, implying that was Bet. But as things ended in season two the way they did, it's pretty clear what direction the show is going in. And while I don't think in episode one, Bet and Tina are going to be back together, living together, I think that it will be a season, at least the first half but maybe the entire season kind of working things back together. And I think that they wouldn't just drop Carrie out of nowhere. I think we'll see her at least talking to Tina and, you know, trying to maybe even make amends for what happened at Dana's. With the whole Bet and Tina ending, I mean, obviously we, a lot of us think that this is the direction the show's going in. But I always am drawn back to, to the watch party. The watch party that happened in the real life Dana's and I sent a lot of people there because there was a lot of people saying, I'm in LA for the finale, go, go, go. And of course, knowing that the cast, the crew, Showtime, all of that were going to be there. And we saw Jennifer Beals filming that finale and that Bet and Tina scene and seeing the whole reaction of everyone. interviews the way they talk about things I mean I've talked a lot about how it seems clear they're going in that direction and the showrunner or the writers everybody was there and saw everyone's reaction so they know they're going in the right direction with that when it comes to Rosie talking about this you know people say oh she's she's like riling people up and stuff and yeah I think she is because Rosie has been in this industry for a very very long time she was a talk show host for years and years and she knows how to promote a show that she's on of course she's going to go on social media and say these things because she she was a fan of the L word too she knows that people love Bet and Tina and by saying these things it's going to get people making videos it's going to get people tweeting posting on Instagram it, obviously it all brings attention to her social media as well but it really promotes the show and if you think about there's there's even now these people that use social media they'll purposely put a post up with like mistakes or like a wrong answer or something to get people to comment and interact because that is the biggest thing you can do to promote yourself on social media is by kind of breeding controversy if you can stand the kind of you know comments and things that you can get which I think Rosie has proven that you know she doesn't care about that stuff so she's going to promote a show that she's on and she did that last season a lot of the stuff she said was you know now that we've seen the season it, it was it wasn't what she was saying like there was hope at the end of the the season for Bet and Tina whether that's short-lived or not but also, Rosie was pretty accurate with saying she was in episodes, at least. That she was pretty truthful about because last season, even towards the end of the season, when we knew Tina was only in two more episodes, but Rosie had three more, and IMDb kept flipping 
between like what episode it was and we were all like how is she in an episode without tina but then we saw episode seven and she was in an episode without tina so i do think she'll be back if it's to tidy things up if it's to bring carrie in so that she can stay on the show not dating tina that could also be a possibility because rosie is a big name but outside of what episode she's in all the other stuff i would take it with a huge pinch of salt because she wants to get people talking about the show and people watching the show and there's only so much she can say like they don't want people going on social media and telling everyone what's what's gonna happen so just be conscious of that because the set last season was very very hush hush and i'm sure they're gonna want to be that way again let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole carry situation make sure you're subscribed here and following me on social media so you can stay up to date with all the filming news for the L Word Generation Q season three. Share the video if you feel so inclined and sorry it wasn't my usual quality. I'm not at home right now. <laughs> and as always, make sure to stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.